Welcome back to ID Summer School. This is our critique workshop for episode four, how to shoot a fashion editorial with Campbell Addy. We received entries from all over the world, and today we're gonna to review the top three submissions. We'll also reveal which one will get featured on ID. I'm joined again by Campbell to discuss his favorite entries. Hey Campbell, how's it going? Hi, I'm good, Hazel. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. So let's go over the task again. What were you asking for? Um, so for my task, I was asking the participants to create a five image slash five page editorial inspired by a photographer of their choice from their heritage. And then the photographer had to be of 60 years of age and over and a short 100 words explaining why they chose said photographer. So let's talk about your favorite entries. Talk me through your first choice. So my first choice out of the submissions was Willa. Love, love, love their work. Um, they did a photo series based off of a photographer called John Milley. They photographed the famous images of Picasso, the light, and they were inspired by that. And I just loved how they took the inspiration and really made it new and fresh in their own. I loved the use of the light painting the composition, the, dif the different settings and different setups. In terms of the imagery, it's five images. The connection between themselves and the chosen photographer was, it was great, but they didn't copy them. They took the technique of light painting and then attached it to their own subjects, which I think was well executed. Okay, so uh, the next one, what attracted you to this piece? Okay, so my next choice is Siraj. I love, love, love their work. I love how they created a series that was engulfed with their heritage and the use of light was amazing. And I loved how simple it was. They looked at the photographer, Kataki Chef, a photographer who focused on taking portraits of Indian people of African descent. So without meeting this person, I already have an understanding of their culture, of what they look like. And also, is I've now gone on to look into a specific type of people that I would never have looked into before. And my favorite image is the one with the red dress in front of the house, the way the light touches her and the colors. It's just, it's simply just beautiful. And it's a great way to be inspired by a photographer, by their process and then making it your own. Because the photographer's work that they're inspired by doesn't match their aesthetic, but the ideals and the foundation of the project really, really worked well for them. And I think it's an amazing project. I wish I took it myself, to be honest. Each image within the five photos were different. Di um, some were different subject matters, some had different sceneries, and they all had different garments. This allows me, the viewer, to always be excited and wanting to see the next image. And also, it takes me on a journey. So when doing an editorial or a series of images, it's great that they differ. Yeah, this one was like a full story. Yeah, 100%. It's kind of if you're watching a film, you don't want to, you know, tell us straight away um, who the killer is that we're going on the film. You have to, you know, leave enigmas, leave us wanting more, little crumbs and trails. Um, but you have to get us hooked at the beginning, take us through it, and then at the end, you leave us breathless. And I think you've done that. I'd like to see more. And what about the final submission? Um, what stood out? My last choice for this out of the submissions is by a young photographer called Cameron Bodu. And he was inspired by Ratimi Fanny Koyede. And for me, the reason why I chose Cameron is because there's a clear direct link between themselves and the photographer outside of the aesthetics. And to be inspired as a young black person by another black photographer is beyond the word empowering. And it's exciting to see how they then interpret it to themselves. And from the set of images they sent over, I can really see a journey of self-discovery. Because as they wrote in their 100 words, they've just discovered them. So it's almost as if they're at the beginning of seeing what this photographer is like, and especially being black and queer, and of Nigerian, he's of Nigerian descent, so he's a photographer. I think he found an affinity. Especially being an artist, you're always seeking some sort of mirror of yourself in the world. So yeah, I think he did a great job expressing it and connecting the two. Great, so who are you gonna name as the winning submission? 
So it's really hard. There's lots of submissions, but I have to go Siraj as the winner for my ID summer school. Um, I think the image is just breathtaking. So what did Siraj's entry have over all of the others? I was taken aback by the use of colours, the simplicity, and then upon reading the 100 words, they made me fall in love with the images even more. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time, Campbell. No, thank you for having me. And thank you everyone who submitted work. It was amazing. I've learned so much. Like, so many photographers I'd never heard of. And, yeah, I thought everyone was amazing. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks so much, Campbell, and thanks so much to everyone who sent work in. Congratulations, Siraj, and we'll be following up with everyone who was featured in today's episode. See you at summer school.